strawberry flavor to Josiah. Really what nice is that? Try it? Yeah, it's all for you to try. And then this is sugar cane. That's where sugar <gasps> comes from. Back You're going to want to to try that. She's yeah. been dying, hasn't I she? I need to take a picture. And then this is sour sauce. This tastes really, really good and sweet. I don't like sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I'll eat it. Can I try the sugar cane? Yeah, it's <laughs> This is all for you. Oh, my tongue got oh. stained pink. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'm not very so, good at it. Uh, we're in Lahaina right now, which stands for He owns it all. He could just cut it off um, and have a big, long party. Wow. wow. So yeah, all the dull uh, pineapple that I used to get as a kid came from the island. And I'm sure all the dull pineapple that you guys have had. No longer though. Well. If you feel the top, it's super waxy. Have you guys been to Mulal yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one did you go to? Royal Lahaina. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. All the Luau's are pretty good. Royal Lahaina is one of the best. Um, if you had the Kalua pork or Lala, this is the oh, leaves yeah. that they would wrap it in. Oh, okay. um, so they would use the wood and then burn it until it's red, a red charcoal. And then they'll put rocks like this on top of it that can absorb the heat. And then they'll put this leaf down with um, banana leaves. And then they'll wrap that in pork and then put that on top. And then more tea and banana leaves and then wet burlap sacks so the fire won't spread. And it works pretty well. This is the This is that distinctive little pork taste that you get. So back ah. home we barbecue with like mesquite wood or, or hickory. Yeah. It's the same. This is their hickory for their mesquite. Why is and eat off of it. Or you could use it for food storage and you could just wrap your Kahlua pork or something or your saltfish and tie it off on the top and take that up with you to Haleakala with your rain cape. Oh, um, wow. Because it's kind of waterproof too. And what's the name Super of that? Smart. Opa. Opa. So most of the um, Hawaiian plants all had like multiple purposes, uh -huh. so that's why they that's why they did so well when they came out here. And it's a great environment to grow. Maybe Lahaina is a little bit hard to grow in, but um, it's easier on the Hana side for sure. Especially with the full moon. Oh wow, um, that's and beautiful. Specifically, so since it's not native to Hawaii. There's no bat or moth or anything that knows how to how to pollinate this. Uh -huh. So every night we have to come out here and pollinate every flower by hand. Oh my goodness! Um, for the for the fruit to to fruit in a month and a half. So last night I was pollinating these, and what you do is you take this. This is the stamen, and this is all pollen around it. You pull the pollen off, and you just pack it into the stamen, just like that. Huh. And then that pollinates the fruit, and then eventually it'll go down through the stamen. And this will become this after you pull the flower off, uh -huh. and this will develop into the fruit. So this will probably be about this big. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a so, big dragon fruit. Um, this is going to be a white <laughs> flesh <laughs> dragon fruit because it's mostly a pure white flower. And then others, like this one had some red. Flower. I don't think they know what's going on. Place. Oh. Uh, and they just make juice out of it for the most part. Most places make juice out of it. Um, but we just cut it up and eat the flesh. And it grows like spiky. Oh, so it's um, actually something that grows And it's also um, an alternative cancer treatment plant. Huh, um, so you don't want to stop chemotherapy or any of that stuff, but it definitely can help for sure. And we make mm -hmm. um, tea with the leaves. So mm -hmm. we dry the leaves out and we steep it on low for like five minutes or something. It's really good tea, actually. If we have some um, back at the gazebo and when we get back, you guys are welcome to try some. Oh. What do you say? I'm going lightning speed. Whoa! Whoa. How's that? Good? Now we know if you're ready. <laughs> you're gonna have so much fun. You're getting to zip somewhere, mom's never zipped. I said you're getting to zip somewhere, mom's never zipped. my volunteer. You're going to zip over dragon fruit, Josiah.
It's like a swing, huh, Lydia? That's what I always think. Are you hanging around, Lydia? Are you just hanging around? Oh man, Lydia. I want to hear Lydia sing. Are you gonna? Yeah, because she doesn't make any noise. What do you think, Saya? Ready? Second time. Three, two, Oops. Two, <laughs> Almost. Here you go. <laughs> Decided he was gonna let go that time. Have fun, fun, Lydia. Have fun. Enjoy it. Whoops. She did lean back a little bit. I'll give her that. They've gotten a taste now, they're going to be, when can we do that again? <laughs> talking the rest of the morning. Did you do that? This is what I did. So what are you going to do, Saya? Going shopping? Yeah. Yeah. Did you forget what you were doing? Oh.
Man, yeah, that would be a cool treehouse. Swiss Family Robinson. What do you think, Saya? It's huge, huh? Do you think that is big enough to satisfy you guys? Lydia, you think that's big enough? What kind did you get? Do you know? Mango with pineapple ice cream. Pineapple ice cream and mango shaved ice. Whoa, issues already. So the kids are taking one last swim. One last swim in the pool. Um, I've just been doing some packing. We did a little shopping on Front Street. And they wanted to get one last swim in. So daddy's got them out at the pool. I'm gonna go catch up with them and I'm hoping my battery doesn't die too soon. <laughs> Did you just walk into the pool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a goofball. Are you going to do it together? Oh, <laughs> she slipped and she fell in. She's trying to get him to do something with her, I don't know. Oh man, he can't hardly pull himself out of the pool. I know, he's getting stronger. <laughs> Off to the other pool, kids. I don't know where Lydia went. 